at Liz Tomlin. My youngest boy, Errol. Oh, is he still a complete no hoper? <laughs> Pretty much. Turns out he's been busted for drug trafficking again. <laughs> Hopeless. Rings me up, smack in the middle of neighbours, all <laughs> sweetness and light. Oh, Mum, darling, if you make a plea, we may be able to get a stay of execution. <laughs> Still trying to take advantage of your better nature? Mm. So I said, darling, don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> of course, I'd love to try and save your life, but be reasonable, I said. <laughs> I said, I have commitments here. I've got a goldfish to feed. <laughs> said, Pat, I said, how am I going to be able to afford the Rotary Club's trip to the Pokies next Easter <laughs> if I waste all my money on a mercy dash to Malaysia? <laughs> oh, Lynn, drug addicts only think of themselves. I said to him, darling, I said, I said, Pet, I said, darling, I said, Pet, <laughs> you are my only son. Of course I'm upset you're going to hang. <laughs> But that will teach you to steal drugs, I said. It's about time he grew up. Oh, my sentiments exactly. I mean, I remember the first time I caught him stealing Valium from my bedside table. <laughs> I said to him then, I said, son, I said, son, life is a hard, cruel, pitiless, unforgiving place, I said. <laughs> Don't expect anything and you won't be disappointed. Oh, you were a cheer and a comfort to those kids, Lynn. <laughs> Wasted on him. He's a complete depressive. Always has been, always will be. Gets it from his father. Mm, terrible things, drugs. Pass me one of those syrup packs, would you, darling? <laughs> this who has absolutely shot my nerves to pieces. Still, that's what you get for caring. <laughs>